Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. In today's video, I'm sharing the best shoes for spring 2023. I'm so excited to put together this ultimate spring shoe guide for you girls. I had shared one last year and it was a really good video of mine and I had also shared a whole white sneaker styling haul lookbook um, here on my channel and those are two really good videos for me. So I'm excited to compile um, shoes for the spring season. I personally feel like the spring season has the best shoes. I feel like there's like a ton of variety that you can wear. And so in today's video, I am sharing everything from sneakers, sandals, heeled sandals, wedges, flats, kind of a big wide array of shoes. And I'm just super excited. So let's get right into it. The best shoes for spring 2023. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go in any particular order, but I have everything broken out by categories. So I will speak to each category and share my top favorite shoes within each category. Of course, everything is linked down below in the description box. If you're on mobile, top of the title is videoed. Everything will populate for you there. And if you're new, hi, my name is Brittany. I create clothing fashion haul videos here on YouTube twice a week, every Sunday and every Wednesday. So be sure to come back. And, and you can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, Lemonade. You can also shop everything that I share um, across all platforms in the free LTK app. If you follow me over there, that is definitely where I let you know if something goes on sale, but you can also follow my profile and then search Abercrombie jeans. And anytime I've worn Abercrombie jeans, like all the images will load. So it's super easy to shop. And then of course you can do the same with anything that I share. So white sneakers and everything with a white sneaker will populate. I think it's just super easy to kind of shop and go back in time and look what I've worn and stuff like that. So of course, if you need anything, leave me a comment. I will get back to you, but let's start with the first category. I'm going to start off with my favorite. And if you follow my channel, you may know what it is, but I'm definitely going to start off with the sneakers category. I just personally find myself in sneakers probably 75, 80% of the time. I'm a full on sneaker girl, which makes my husband so happy because he has a huge collection of sneakers and forever I was like, no, no. But then slowly and surely I've grown my shoe, my sneaker collection to be outside of wearing them just to the gym. So like I said, last year I did share a whole st sneaker styling video. I will leave that link down below, but I am so excited because these are the Air Jordan 1 lows and this is my first these are my first air jordan one lows in my collection i just absolutely love the subtleness of the lavender with the white i just think that they are just an absolute beautiful shoe they are so comfortable on and they're also a little bit slimmer through here unlike the air force ones now i'm a huge nike air force girl i love these and i have a couple pairs but i wanted to show the difference in sizing down here through kind of like where the lace is hit the top of the shoe. So just a little bit more slimmer for the Air Jordan 1s. And also the same can be said about kind of just overall the shoe, the platform at the bottom. So if you're kind of like not sure about them, I think either sneaker is a great option. But if you tend to like a more leaner or thinner sneaker, then I would definitely check out the Air Jordan 1 lows. Both sneakers are priced right around $100, $140. Really depends on the Air Jordan 1 lows. Sometimes, um, you know, if they're like hyped or something, they could you could see them upwards to $200. And you can definitely find them across different third-party seller apps like Goat, for an example. Um, but the ones that I have listed here, those are just from Nike. Now, same with the Air Jordan 1 lows. You can also find these across multiple retailers. So, for sure, Nike, Nordstrom, Dillard's, they all kind of carry them. But definitely my most worn sneaker is the Air Force One. And like I said, I just got the Air Jordan ones, but I know I'll be wearing those nonstop as well. And one more sneaker that I'm absolutely obsessed with, and I feel like they're just like a good sneaker to style up with so many different outfits, whether you're pairing it back with jeans and a sweater, joggers and a crop top, joggers and you know a baggy sweatshirt, would definitely these be these Veja Campo sneakers. I've worn the heck out of them. These look great with jeans and a blazer jeans basic white tee in the shoe um these are kind of definitely everyday styling sneakers for sure i wouldn't work out in these but they're great for even pairing back to athleisure as well joggers in a fitted top joggers in a matching sweatshirt or something like that this color in particularly is my absolute favorite i love that it's the white with the cream here and then kind of like the taupe v it is a little bit hard to come by i feel like people are really hopping onto the veja trend and they're just starting to be like sold out often but you can find them across multiple places revolve shop bob nordstrom farfetch 
anthropology so you can definitely find them i'll leave a few links down below one thing to note they are european sizing so i get a, a european 37 which is a us six in that six in them i'm typically a six six and a half in shoes really depends but went with my six in this and they fit wonderfully i also have another pair of veha with the velcro across the top just a really great brand i've been absolutely loving these Two more sneakers that I want to mention are definitely more athletic ones. I know I talk about these a lot on my channel. These are the Nike Waffle Ones. I absolutely love them. What I love about these is that they look so good with any of your gym outfits, but they also are amazing to pair back to leisure wear as well, loungewear, sweatpants, that kind of thing. So I am constantly in these. I also have the all black with the white logo. You can get all black um, with the black check as well. You can actually even design your own on Nike.com. So just a really great versatile sneak sneaker definitely one to wear like i said with your gym outfits to work out in but also great to style back with like athletic wear joggers and like a little sports top or sweatshirt just very very versatile to me these are the most versatile sneakers to wear in and out of the gym and then the other one that i wanted to mention are these ones relatively new but these are the nike air max i absolutely love them i love the blush tone here definitely more of a muted pink but i just love like these warm colors and I find that I can work style these in multiple ways too in and out of the gym as well so of course same thing great to work out in um, weight training those kind of workouts but also great to wear with joggers and a sweatshirt joggers and crop top kind of more of your athleisure wear these look really great with too and then of course even if you're just throwing on leggings and like a sweatshirt to you know run errands or whatever I just feel like you look more dressed up with like a really nice sneaker like this so definitely definitely recommend these again you can find these Nike Nordstrom Revolve um, lots of places but I know it I know for sure that this pink color is in stock at Nordstrom so I'll leave the link down below okay the next category I want to talk about are heeled sandals so I feel like I'm a sneaker girl and then I'm kind of like a heels like this kind of girl. I'm really like kind of feel like polar opposites, but to me, that's just what I love. And so I find myself to wear these kind of shoes with jeans and like a crop top all the time or like a fitted top like this to go out in for dinner and such. I feel like it's like sneakers or, th or this for me. But anyways, um, these are brand new little strappy heels sandals that I got in from Dolce Vita. This is the cream Stella color. It does come in several different colors, including black, dark nude, ivory, ivory and tan. They are priced around 140, but if you're not familiar with Dolce Vita, I just want to emphasize that the quality is always amazing with their shoes. And I feel like you instantly put them on and they're pretty comfortable. So when I say pretty comfortable, these are like I instantly put these on and I'm like, oh yes, these are nice. Like I feel really secure in them with these strappy tie details. I just feel like the shoe is not going anywhere, which I absolutely love. I actually wore this to dinner the other night and found to be found them to be very comfortable. I did not walk very far. You figure here to the car, car into the restaurant, you know, that kind of thing. So I wasn't walking in these for like miles. I typically say on my channel a lot, I tend to wear shoes with like a smaller heel just because living in Southern California, we're constantly doing dinner and then walking around. So for this particular example, I did not do that. I just kind of, you know, wore them to dinner and then came home. But I do find them to be very comfortable. Now the straps definitely leave a little bit of a mark, but they are brand new. So I feel like over time this will stretch a little bit, but I can't emphasize enough that I feel like when I put these on, I just felt really good in them that I wasn't going to fall out of them or trip or, you know, like sprain an ankle or anything like that. I just felt really, my foot felt very secured in them. So I absolutely love these. I think this kind of square detailing down here at the bottom is always super flattering, really elongates the legs. And again, I just love this cream nude color. So this is definitely the lighter shade of the nudes that are out there so the other one is just like a dark nude and then again this is the cream stella color also want to quickly mention i got a size six and a half in these and they fit perfectly i'm typically six six and a half it really just depends but normally if they have half sizes i go with the six and a half okay and then these shoes here i have styled these a million times on my channel they are a couple years old now i had got them in the nordstrom anniversary sale they were part of the sale last year as well 
maybe they'll be a part of this year's sale. I can't wait for the sale to come. But anyways, these are the Lana slides and they are by the brand Chinese Laundry. I got my true size six and a half in these. Again, they fit perfectly. Really love the small heel detail here. I just feel like you get so much more wear out of them. Like I said, I can throw on like a heel like this and be walking all day and for several miles and stuff. So I absolutely love these. As of right now, this is the only color that's available. The cognac, it had pr previously come in like a black and a few other colors, but the cognac is only available currently. I love this because it goes, it goes back to my vintage Louis Vuitton bags. So I find that I wear these a lot just because I love that bag and I'm constantly carrying it. So a really good shoe for that. But if you're looking for a nice warm cognac brown color, really, really recommend these. And when I was going into the office, I wore the heck out of them as well. They're just so comfortable. I have styled these with so many different looks, including jeans and a blazer, linen pants, um, work pants, dresses, skirts. I just find them to be incredibly, um, incredibly versatile, incredibly comfortable. And they're at, I believe, $60. So a really good price point. Okay, in my opinion, the absolute best shoe you will find off of Amazon. It is these ones, these little ankle strap heels heel sandals are from the brand dream paris i get my regular size six and a half i have worn these i can't tell you to how many weddings not this specific pair this is actually a brand new pair but i have um my previous pair i bought literally six years ago i remember because it was before we got married and it was like it's my go-to shoe for weddings i'm so comfortable in them they stay on everything is just very comfortable and i can be in them for hours and hours I can be dancing in them they are going nowhere with the ankle strap they just feel really good on so anyways I had to rebuy them because I was finally getting like marks I mean I had literally beat them to death and I wear them out like I wear them all the time even just with jeans and a sweater jeans and a blouse jeans and a blazer that kind of thing to go out to dinner these are also a great shoe because I love the heel height they're not too high I think they're about like an inch and a half what two inches maybe so anyways I wore the heck out of them and I was like I finally need to repurchase so this one is in the dark nude color and then this one here I wanted to show you all the difference this is more of the it's called nude new back color so you can kind of see the difference definitely one is more of like a bone lighter color and then this one is a little bit topier honestly if you're someone that goes into the office hands down i would 1000 percent recommend these i wore them all the time too when i was going into an office and if you wear a ton of neutrals and stuff i feel like you couldn't go wrong with either nude color but just wanted to mention them because literally such the most perfect shoe coming off of amazon but i feel like just an absolute wardrobe staple to have in your shoe collection do come in a higher heel height if you want to as well the brand dream Paris, i would just totally recommend checking out these shoes are like 35 36 dollars on amazon now i want to mention these shoes they're not in stock but i will find alternative options for you girls and leave them listed down below but i kind of wanted to walk through why i love these shoes and why i feel like they're just like a really good option to have something like this in your wardrobe because I wear these so much and the versatility behind them is insane. I love the square toe down here. I just feel like it's super flattering. It really elongates the legs. Whether you're wearing this with jeans, jean shorts, a dress I just feel like it's really pretty very feminine just really elongates your legs I love the white color I feel like having a cream option to me cream nude and black are like the top three that I would have in my wardrobe and when it comes to nude it would definitely be what you wear more of so if you have more handbags that would match back to this creamier darker nude than say this more bone nude I would just think about that if, before you purchase kind of you do have like more neutral handbags what will those go with more I just love the strap detailing here too how it crosses like that I just think it's very flattering and it has this like strap detail here the foot is just very secured in these again a really nice heel height so even though it's not the platform blocked heel it's more like a stiletto just find these to be super comfortable and go with so much so I just wanted to mention these. I will find alternative options and leave those linked down below in the description box. Okay, now moving into our wedges category. Hands down, my favorite wedge for the year for spring and summer will definitely be these ones by Dolce Vita. I'm wearing my true size six and a half in these, but I just absolutely love them. I love the thick heel back here. I find that to be so comfortable with the platform as well. Gives you a really great height, but you're very comfortable because your foot is more flat than like, you know, like a stiletto. 
and I just think these are so cute with a little braiding detail. Um, definitely like the raffia. They're absolutely stunning. You can see the detailing here is more like kind of like a braided leather trim and I just simply love them. Now I definitely went with the lighter color. This is the oatmeal raffia. It also comes in like a honey raffia color as well, which is more of kind of like the cognac detail. It is like a little bit darker than this. Kind of has like more warm tone to it, but if you haven't noticed yet, I definitely like lighter footwear. I feel like that's just what I gravitate towards more and I feel like I can just style them, style that more often. I just absolutely love this. Instantly super comfortable. You put it on your foot, it slides right forward and then it feels, stay in place. it feels like they stay in place with the two straps. So definitely love these. They are priced at 140. Again, I feel like Dolce Vita though, the quality is always there. These are shoes that you can definitely pull out year after year. Now, sort of a similar one is this pair and I had got this from a boutique last year and I have found it in two different boutiques. I do have a code Brittany and 20 and I think it'll take 20% off putting these in maybe $45 range. Very comfortable. Again, definitely a platform. I really love the straw raffia material. I find it to just be so appropriate for the spring and summer season. These look great with like any summer dress, um, even like shorts and a top. Uh, I wear these a ton with like beach pants, linen pants, flowy pants, and a crop top. I just think they are so comfortable and just a really good option to have in your spring and summer shoe wardrobe. Now these next two are wedges that I've had for quite a few years now. I feel like these kind of shoes always trend every spring and summer. I wanted to quickly mention them because there's a couple things that I love about both of them. This pair is by Mark Fisher and you tie this around your ankle. I just think it looks really cute and it's just like a different footwear option. It's not the first that I would buy out of this category or if you're kind of like trying to keep your shoe collection a little bit smaller then I would probably go ahead and skip these. I definitely feel like shoes like this are a little bit more versatile or even the strappy heel that I have here. But I wanted to mention these because if you're looking for more of a wedge espadrille, I think these are really cute. Mark Fisher always has great options. Just again, instantly comfortable, fit true to size. I think I got yeah, six and a half in these as well. Um, so I would definitely check out his there. Another one is this one from Steve Madden. I feel like these are super versatile. I actually love these with jean shorts, a tank top, and a kimono. I feel like every year I get excited to kind of wear that outfit in the spring and summer season, but one to mention these as well. Again, both are a couple years old, but I feel like they're just really good shoes that I have invested in and have worn them, you know, for several years now, and they still are in really great shape. So I'll leave a couple options listed down below in the description box. Okay, the next category in my best shoe for spring guide would definitely be the sandal category. And I have quite a few options here, surprisingly, but I feel like sandals are another great area where you kind of invest in a couple, like maybe each year, one or two, and then, you know, you have quite a few to pull from. I want to talk about my favorite here. These are the Tory Burch slide sandal. They're called the T-Sport slide sandal. They are a leather material and I have worn the heck out of them, but I feel like they have held up really well, especially around the toes here. Kind of have this nice rounded square um, edge here, which I find to just be super flattering. And I feel like these just look a little more elevated than like a basic sandal. So just for how much I wore these last year alone, I feel like they are really worth it. They are a little bit of a pricier point at $200. Um, they do come in several colors, so they come in black, cognac, navy, gold. This is a Dolce de Leche gold color. You can kind of see the gold edging here. I feel like that always picks up my jewelry really well because I wear all gold jewelry. But I just have really, really loved these. And I feel like a simple white dress or a summer dress that you could wear wedges with, if you throw these on, say you're wanting to be, you're wanting to be in a flat sandal, you still just look so, the outfit looks so elevated and really pulled together and nice. So I have found myself that these have been like, just so, like such a versatile shoe in my wardrobe because like I said out here where I'm at, like I'm walking a lot or if you're just not even like a heel girl and you want something like a little bit easier or something, like I feel like a nice flat sandal like this can still really elevate your look and you can just be as dressed up as maybe somebody in wedges or heels. Um, so anyways, absolute favorite sandal for sure. I would say they're absolutely worth the price. Um, they truly still look amazing for as much as I wore them, especially in sand and kind of like wood and rocks. So I'm, I've been very impressed with how they've held up because typically I'm not someone that spends a ton on sandals 
for the purpose that I'm typically at the beach or walking very far in them and have found like most shoes to be kind of disappointing in how they look after a season. But these ones, definitely not. I wore the heck out of them last spring and summer and I'm excited to keep wearing them, you know, this year as well. The next shoe I wanna talk about are these ones from Steve Madden. They're definitely a designer look for less to the Christian Dior sandals, which I think those are around five or $800. <laughs> like I said, I kind of feel like I wear my sandals to death and just am constantly dropping them in the sand and, you know, walking, ocean, you know, whatever. So I'm not someone that typically splurges on that, but um, I think these are just a really great alternative option. If you're, of course, looking at the Christian Dior ones, yeah, I mean, not comparable, but if you're wanting to have a more affordable option and kind of get that designer look for less, I think these are amazing. So these ones are from Steve Madden. You can absolutely find these in multiple places. Um, SteveMadden.com definitely has more color options. These ones I had actually picked up on Amazon. They are priced around $60. Some of the colorways are $100, so it kind of just depends. I'll leave the link to both down below. You'll see the Amazon link as well as the Steve Madden link. If you use the Steve Madden link and you haven't get signed up with your email yet, you save 20%. So I think that's like a really great deal. Um, and I think especially if you're kind of like have looked at your shoe collection and realized you might need one or two things for this season, I would definitely think about that in terms of Steve Madden and saving that 20%. These ones are the natural colorway, which again, I just feel like I'll wear the most. I love the embroidery kind of detailing here. This, this one says Saint Tropez on it, but there's also like Paris, London, there's a lot of different color options in different cities, but I love that these are neutral. The other one that I really like too is black with kind of brown in it, and that one says St. Bart's, but I think um, just overall a really, really nice sandal. You can style these in so many different ways, jeans, dresses, sundresses, maxi dresses. I feel like they're just like a really nice sandal. You can definitely look elevated in them, but they look equally as cute with jean shorts and a tank top as well. Just a very versatile sandal. Now the braided detailing on these sandals are, have been something that's been trending over the last couple years. These sandals I got at Target last year. They are by the brand A New Day. I will leave, I will link similar options down below. But if you're definitely looking for, to save some money, I think Target makes great shoes, particularly this brand A New Day. I think they have some really great options. Now in these, I got a size seven. The six was too small, if I remember correctly. And in these shoes, I believe I got a six and a half as well. Yes, so these ones and the Tory Burch ones that I shared, six and a half these ones a seven, but I just absolutely love the braiding detail. Again, I don't wear black as much, but I feel like they have held up for the amount that I have worn them. And I think I got them around 20 or $30. So a great price point, a great option. I believe similar at linked down below. Another great sandal that I got in a couple years ago now, actually at this point, are these braided crossover ones from Amazon. They come in a million different colors and even listed under, under this link is like a couple options. So anyways, just wanted to mention them because I do like that they're a little bit slimmer through the foot here. I don't have a wide foot. I would say I have like a very average foot. So I've just been happy with them because I feel like the straps are really comfortable, but they're like not too big. I actually feel like they look very like a little bit slender, more slender, more feminine, but have been really happy with these. I love this nude color. I feel like they go with a ton of things. These are only $21. They also have a couple options where the braided strap goes this way. Now I have gotten a size seven in these, but I would say to go ahead and size down. I'm seeing now that they are carried in half sizes, so I probably should have just gone with my true to size six and a half. But wanted to mention these, lots of different color options and a lot of different kind of neutral shades if you're looking for that. One more from Amazon are these ones. I absolutely love them. I do recommend sizing down. My husband also bought them, but I think they're just like a great shoe. They truly feel like you're walking on clouds. Like, and that's how they're reviewed online too. Just very cushiony, just a great shoe for the pool or the beach, vacation. I mean, just, or even just to run errands. I feel like they're so easily by the door and just step in and go. So absolutely love these. And again, come in lots of different color options. The last sandals I wanna mention are these ones. These are the Tory Burch Miller sandals. I got my true size in these as well, six and a half. Um, I like these. These are the patent leather ones. I highly recommend the patent leather over regular leather. As soon as you get caught in a rainstorm with the leather version, the leather like with the leather only version, ruined. This has happened to my sister-in-law as well as a friend. Two separate occasions, <laughs> one in Florida and one in Charleston, they're just instantly ruined. So if you are gonna splurge um, on more of a casual sandal like this, I definitely recommend getting the patent leather. These ones alone are about six years old and I think they still look really good. I've worn the heck out of them. 
I don't wear these as much anymore, but I definitely rec and I definitely recommend these two sandals before this pair. But this pair is a really great casual option. If you're someone that likes jean shorts and a tank top, um, I feel like this look is always like a great casual pull together look. I just don't wear them as much as I used to in the past. I feel like I have more sandal options now. Okay, moving into our cowboy boots category definitely have to mention one or two because i feel like cowboy boots have been trending especially heavily this spring and um, even a little bit this past fall season i finally got the pair that i had been eyeing these are the soleil i think i'm saying that correctly but um soleil dolce vita cowboy boots they do come in several colors this is the cream color and it's currently in limited limited stock from dolce vita's website but i know that they are carried across multiple retailers so i'll leave a couple links down below but I absolutely love them. Now, I definitely had to get these in the wide calf version. I feel like I have like a, I'm on the fence. Sometimes I'm a wide calf, sometimes I'm not. I think my calf circumference is 15. Um, I feel like sometimes wide calf is considered to be 16. Anyways, I just wanted to mention it. These also come in regular calf dimensions or whatever. So these ones are the wide calf and they also come in regular. So I will leave linked both of those linked down below, but I absolutely love them. Such a nice quality. I feel like, you know, the embroidery detail here is just really beautiful. I definitely wear these way more with dresses than say throw these on over jeans. I definitely would style these with jean shorts and a cute top as well with like a hat or something like that. But I have been eyeing these and I just absolutely love them. Have a zipper here on the inside. So it makes, really, makes them really easy to get on and off. And then, and then of course you can put your finger through here to pull it up over your calf. But just really excited about these. Relatively new but I have worn them quite a few times. And again they come in several colors. Now the other cowboy boots that I had picked up are these ones from the brand Azalea Wang. I got my regular size seven in these. I don't believe they come in a half size because I probably would have done the six and a half, but I had figured that I should size up just to give myself enough room through this part of the foot and I could always wear just like um, socks with these if I had to. I love the pool ties here on both sides. Again, just makes it really easy to get on and off. They don't have a zipper, but I do not struggle getting these on. Now, of course, I feel like, I feel like the color and the print is a little wild, but I feel like, you know, very wild, wild west, cowboy, cowgirl-esque. So I really like these. I think they're super fun. You get free shipping and free returns at Nordstrom, and I know that they're carried there. So I feel like if you wanted to try them, great place to look at would definitely be there these also come in several different colors and kind of different ver like versions too so there's definitely like orange and pink sparkles i actually love the one pair it's like all white or all black and then has like silver rhinestones over each one and i think they look stunning as well but wanted to mention these because i just think they're super fun and i feel like you can actually wear these more often than you would think i feel like if you just truly simply go with black or white these kind of always go and i just think they're super fun and something different very on trend for the spring season i want to quickly mention i wear a lot of booties still in the spring season especially paired back with dresses and a cardigan um, just depending on the weather these ones are by mark fisher they come in so many different colors several nude shades as well but the block heel is very comfortable kind of has like a more pointed toe here which i think is just super flattering wanted to quickly mention these because i know i mean i wear these like a million I, I style these all the time here on my channel but i had picked them up during the nordstrom anniversary sale and um i'm wearing them to death and i absolutely love them <laughs> and they're still in stock so you can buy them from mark fisher or nordstrom um i'll leave a link for them down below okay the last category in my the best shoes for spring 2023 guide would be the flat category now i have to say i don't wear a ton of flats i don't wear ballet flats i think they're really cute i just don't really wear them i'm more likely like i said a sneaker or kind of like little heel type of a girl but i wanted to mention a few that i have because these right here i do style up a good bit especially in the um fall season where i wear more jeans in trousers and blazers but i feel like if you're someone that goes into the office you probably need this too in the spring season as well so i just want to quickly mention these loafers these are from Franco sarto and i just absolutely love them they are so comfortable on you instantly put your foot in they have a like great padding to them more of a rounded toe here kind of like a little bit squared but i feel like these are just like the perfect shape i love this cognac color with the uh, I think it's called mocha actually with the gold hardware here on the black it's kind of like a gunmetal 
color so it's not silver it's much darker but I do really really appreciate these shoes and I love them with a good jeans and sweater kind of outfit um, you know work pants and a blazer blazers and jeans that kind of thing so I wanted to quickly mention those and then the only other pair of flats that I have are these ones one Steve Madden one is from Target but again just kind of like a loafer mule type of one I, again I wear these a lot of times with just like kind of like a blouse jeans and then these or like a sweater or a knit long sleeve jeans and these but I don't wear them as much as like the other categories but I wanted to quickly mention that in case you are needing a couple flats I would definitely definitely check out the Franco Sarto um, loafers okay girls so that is it for the best shoes for spring 2023 I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already again if you're new here welcome I create fashion clothing haul videos here twice on my channel every Sunday and every Wednesday I would love for you to subscribe and join in here and also be sure to leave me a comment if you have any questions at all if you need any further recommendations if you need anything just leave me a comment I will get back to you as always everything linked down below in the description box and also in the LTK app so if you follow me over there um, every outfit that I styled in this video all those clips everything is linked in the LTK app thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you really soon in my next one